Okay, so we are starting off with the shape of the eye. Now, as we are just talking about the front, front facing eyes, I'm just going to talk about that. So what you first want to do is just create a little C or V as you can see on the screen. Now, this is just going to guide you uh, throughout your whole eye shape. Now, as you can see, the eye shape looks like very slim or not so full lemon shape if that makes any sense also do not ever forget to add waterline to the eyes so what i prefer doing is i always try to draw the waterline once i'm done with the uh, whole shape of the eye like the whole lemon shape of the eye and then i go ahead and draw two lines just under the lemon shape both downwards and upwards to create the waterline effect i hope that makes sense also just making the making it the whole eye sketch really light so that we can you know shade it later better also the eyebrow shape and the crease area so it has to be really basic we are going to be you know bring out all of the realism just by shading now once you're done with that you want to select your base color and make sure you are painting this base color really light-handed I can also share this color palette that I'm using in this video uh, down in the description and I'm using the similar palette I used in the video uh, where I talked about skin shading. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm just adding this base color really light handed. Now you want to create a new layer and we are going to be starting off with the white part of the eyes. Now I don't know what to call it but yeah. So for the color selection. Just pick up your base color and go lighter on that color. Then just go on the left on the color wheel. Uh, basically just desaturate that color a little bit and get some grays in it. And that is the color you want to put in the white part of the eyes. You cannot put straight up white color that looks harsh. So once you have that, you want to pick number of colors to shade that white part of the eyes now in the white part of our eyes if you see closely in the mirror you would see uh, there are so many pinks so many reds some oranges some browns so that's what we are going to be doing so how this works is once you have your white part color ready with you as i explained before just pick up any pinkish or desaturated pink or red color and then just start shading it in the inner corners of the eye or maybe the tear duct of the eye just shape that tear duct of the eye just with that color also the outer part of the eye as you can see on the screen just shade it lightly really light handed and then just create some harsh shadows as well so our skin is a combination i always talk about this our skin is a combination of harsh shadows and some blended ones similar similarly with the highlights that we have on our face some of them are really blended some of them are really harsh so we want to make sure we are incorporating all of those shadows and highlights whenever we are painting any part of the skin so as the eyes also has some part of the skin around them, we are going to do exactly the same with the white part of the eyes. So I'm keeping some harsh shadows and some blended ones. Now what I'm doing here is I'm actually shading the upper water line as you can see. So the upper water line is the um, combination of dark browns and some dark red color. That's what I'm doing here. You can keep it lighter. A lot of people have um, lighter water lines so you can go ahead with that but i prefer making them look darker so that's what i'm doing here also i'm adding some dark shadows on the upper part of that white area that creates that shadow now it also depends on the light source that you have on your painting so it also depends on that so just keep in mind what is light source for the drawing that you're doing and keeping that in mind just create shadows around the waterline of the eyes i really hope that makes sense now here i am painting iris now you want to make sure you are creating a new layer just underneath where 
underneath the layer where we painted the white part for the eyes now once you have that layer just select the color that you want to go ahead with and also iris is something you know uh i will be doing uh another tutorial on it like how to draw realistic iris or how to draw more simplified version of it so here i am actually going ahead with the simplified version of the iris and not really going into detail uh, like the detailed lines that we have in our iris so uh, that's because i really like that simplified look in my portrait paintings now with that said i have this color ready and i have filled up the iris part of the eyes and just create alpha lock so that we don't mess up anywhere else now i'm taking a darker version of the same color of the blue color and i am first going on the outer parts of the iris as you can see sort of outlining them but not really making those outlines look harsh in any way also just creating a shadow on the upper waterline not on the upper waterline just underneath it and also on the right hand side of the eye as you can see i'm creating dark shadows now again this depends on the light source that you have in, the, in your illustration so just keep that in mind now here i am creating the pupil uh, with a black color now on the lower water line of the eyes i'm adding this really light color as compared to the colors we added on the upper water line and yeah that's what i'm doing here the color uh, contains some pink undertones as well so yeah i hope that makes sense i hope you're getting what i'm trying to say here so just keep the lower water line lighter as compared to the upper water line now i'm taking the base color again now if you remember i told you guys to put less pressure to add that base color initially now what you want to do is with the same base color put much more pressure than you did initially and by doing that just add shadows in the eyes now i first what i do is i just go over the eyelids with pressure uh, using the same base color and then just add shadows with the same color or maybe a bit darker color as you can see on the screen once you're done with put adding that color in full force just pick up a darker version of that color the base color and add it on the outer parts of the eyelids in the inner parts of it and also under the eyes as well and also up on the top of the crease as well with a similar color and here i'm taking this maroonish color and i am adding this color over the crease of the eyes now you want to make sure you're not blending the crease of the eyes and because we don't want to smoothen it out we want some harshness uh, on the crease area as you can see on the screen you can actually blend it out but make sure you are blending it out really really light handed so basically you want to keep the crease off of the eyes a bit harsh so that's what i'm doing here and also just to make sure that the crease of the eyes do not look too harsh i am going in with this brownish darker color than the base color and going uh, on the sides of the crease just to make it look kind of blended but not too blended now you guys as you can see on the screen i am done with the eyebrows i have done the upper lashes and here i am doing the lower lashes now i have in-depth tutorials about eyebrows i have two videos on eyebrows on my channel and one in-depth tutorial on how to draw eyelashes on how the hair strand move when we draw the eyelashes and all of that and I also talk about the brushes you should use if you are doing it on procreate or on sketchbook so I have like a complete guide for the eyelashes 
and eyebrows as well so go check that out i'm not going to be going into detail about eyebrows and eyelashes just check just check that video out and before you start with this one now here i am using this maroonish color again and i'm using this color to add more shadow and depth to the eye now if you have watched my video on skin shading then you should know you should always incorporate colors from two different undertones so i always use colors with orange undertones and colors with pink undertones you can also add on by selecting color from the environment that your portrait might be in and you can also use those color and incorporate them when you are painting or shading a portrait so that's what i always do so what i'm doing here i'm mainly focusing that color around the crease area and also under the eyes and also to give that eyes or just to give that shape of the nose or the direction where the nose is going to be even if i'm not going to draw the nose you always want to make sure you are giving that shadow which make makes sure or directs your eyes where the nose is going to be i hope that makes sense so that's what i am doing here i'm also incorporating some dark brownish colors here and there and so just to balance the whole look out so here comes my favorite part which is highlighting so for that i'm using soft airbrush again so just to mention i have used soft airbrush all along the video so now for highlighting you want to create a new layer and also make sure that the size of the brush is minimum so i always start by highlighting uh, the inner part of the eyes or the tear ducts of the eyes and i always add these little dots uh, in the tear duct area of the eyes just to make them look more um watery and i'm not really getting the word in my head so yeah just create some dots in the in, in the inner part of the eye or the tear duct of the eyes also i'm adding some of the highlights um, under the eyes as well and on the eyelids now whenever you are going to be adding highlights on the eyelids make sure you are doing it in a form of lines now the reason is because we do have few lines on our eyelids and whenever our lids get shiny or oily our eyelids shines in the form of many lines if you have noticed i really hope that makes sense so that's what i'm basically do doing here you can do your own thing you, you can highlight the eyes in your own way i'm also adding some highlights on the eyebrows and the key here is to add highlights on the eyebrows in the direction of the hair and you're gonna get amazing highlights over there as well and i'm also adding some highlight in the inner corner of the eyes and also adding some glitter effect and for that you just add few little dots on the um, eyelid part and you're gonna get that glittery effect now that is it for today's video you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up also do not forget to subscribe to my channel i post every monday and thursday and also if you do create something out of my tutorial please tag me on instagram and i will link that down in the description and i will see you guys the next time